What do you think of when you hear the name Colonel Gaddafi? Tyrant? Dictator? Terrorist? Well, a national citizen of Libya may disagree but we want you to decide. Ruling the country for 41 years until his demise in October 2011, Muammar Gaddafi did some truly amazing things for his country and repeatedly tried to unite and empower the whole of Africa. So despite what you've heard on the radio, seen in the media or on the TV Gaddafi did some powerful things that were not very reminiscent of a vicious dictator. Here are 10 things Gaddafi did for Libya that you may not know about. First in Libya a home is considered a natural human right. In Gaddafi's Green Book it states, a house is a basic need of both the individual and the family, therefore it should not be owned by others. Gaddafi's Green Book is the formal leader's political philosophy. It was first published in 1975 and was intended reading for all Libyans even being included in the national curriculum. Second, education and medical treatment were all free. Under Gaddafi's reign Libya could boast one of the best healthcare services in the Arab and African world. Also if a Libyan citizen could not access the desired educational course or correct medical treatment in Libya they were funded to go abroad. Third, Gaddafi carried out the world's largest irrigation project. The largest irrigation system in the world also known as the Great Man-Made River was designed to make water readily available to all Libyans across the entire country. It was funded by the Gaddafi government and it said that Gaddafi himself called it the eighth wonder of the world fourth. It was free to start a farming business. If any Libyan wanted to start a farm they were given a house, farmland and livestock and seeds all free of charge. Fifth. A bursary was given to mothers with newborn babies. When a Libyan woman gave birth she was given 5,000 US dollars for herself and the child. Sixth, Electricity was free. Electricity was free in Libya meaning absolutely no electric bills. Seven, Cheap petrol During Gaddafi's reign the price of petrol in Libya was as low as 0.14 US dollars per liter. Eight, Gaddafi raised the level of education. Before Gaddafi only 25% of Libyans were literate. He bought that figure up to 87% under his rule. Ninth, Libya had its own state bank. Libya was the only country in the world to have a bank owned by the state meaning they were able to give loans to citizens at 0% interest by law and they had no external debt. Tenth, before the fall of Tripoli and his untimely demise Gaddafi was trying to introduce a single African currency made of gold. Following in the footsteps of the late great pioneer Marcus Garvey who first coined the term United States of Africa Gaddafi wanted to introduce and only trade in the African gold dinar a move which would have thrown the world economy into chaos.